The last thing Dr. King said to me before he was murdered, Martin said, you know, I sit here deeply concerned that I suspect we are leading our nation on an integration trip that has us integrating into a burning house. Most of the politicians I know of make promises only to walk into the places of power and then deny us. I guess part of the reason I'm here is to really look through the ravages of the Democratic Party and see if anything is really worth salvaging. Yeah, so that was MLK. Well, <clears throat> a conversation that he had. Um, he knew. He knew in the end that uh, Democrat Party isn't where it's at. And I think a lot of, especially black people and Latinos, are waking up to that fact. And I got some evidence. All right. But the Democrats aren't going to go down easy. Mm -mm. You know that southern border? It's open for a reason. But with that being said, let's dive in deliberate the democratic party realizes that the black vote is dwindling because the democratic party has not delivered for the black community and they realize that so what do they do they open up these borders and they let people come from around the world come into this country they're paying no rent their food is being provided for. They don't even make their beds. They have a maid to go and make their beds every day. We don't want them in our community. Let them go back to where they came from because it's my position that if you have a problem with your country, then you stay and you make it better by fighting that government, mm -hmm. making your government do what it needs to do by its people because that's what we do in this country that's what i've been doing all of my life i don't have any place to run to america is my home it's my country we built it they're trying to replace us they see the writing on the wall and i'm not saying most black people or all black people are going to vote republican but a significant portion will more than uh, what has or more black people will vote Republican in this election than in the past 60 years. I believe that. I believe that. And um, here's a bit more evidence for those that say it's not going to happen. Check it out. My name is Jasmine Woodson. Hi, my name is Silla. I'm Karen Watson. I'm Yolanda Johnson from Georgia. This is B.B. Diamond from New York City. I'm Dana Galen, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. I live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Out here in Maricopa County. Kalamazoo County, Michigan. I am a proud African immigrant living in Florida. I'm from the great state of New Jersey. I'm Angelina from Philly, and this November, I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting. For Kamala Harris. I am not with Kamala Harris. I, I am, am not, not with, with her. her. I'm not with her. I am not with Kamala Harris. I'm not with Kamala. I am not for Kamala. I am for Donald Trump. I am not with Kamala. I am not with her because she is not with me. I support President Trump and the economic policies our country experienced under his leadership as our 45th president. President Trump we support our law enforcement agencies and fund them appropriately. Donald Trump made me proud to be an American. I'm with Donald J. Trump. We need a leader who can make America great again. Trump puts Americans first, and he always will. We need Donald Trump. I and millions of other black Americans will cast my vote for Donald J. Trump. I will proudly cast my vote for Donald J. Trump as our next president. Let's make America great again. My name is Jasmine. Absolutely. Let's make America great again. Shout out to uh, all my beautiful black sisters out there. Proud of y'all. Because honestly, as a black person, and I'm sure as other races too, but especially as a black person, like that takes some cojones. For example, with myself, a lot of people in my family are staunch Democrats and have been their entire life, entire life. Um, and so when you... <laughs> As a black person come out and say nope i vote republican they look at you funny 
sometimes some people say some things about you, right? Um, so that takes some cojones. That takes some guts. That takes some nerves. So I, I listen, I, I commend my black brothers and sisters for walking away. Welcome. Welcome to the good side. Welcome to the good side. Don't worry about what they say. Don't worry about it. I, I've heard it all, seen it all, right? I got some DMs right now from some black folks calling me all types of names. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> I'll see you in November. <laughs> all right, but let's continue on. Check it out. Excuse me, can I get your opinion on who you voting for, Kamala, or is it going to be Trump? Trump. Gonna Why you want for They're going to make the economy lit again. Okay, so you're looking for that good stimulus. Something like it, something similar to it? No, nah, I get money. I don't need that government assistance. What do you think about Kamala? She a, um, a puppet on a string. She's tap dancing. Well, it's At been the end of the day, I'm going to leave you with this. People are like tea bags. You never know who they are until you dip their ass in some hot water. But why Kamala? You know, it is just, she's been running the country for four years, so might as well four more, right? Who are you voting for? Donald Trump, that's my president for sure. I'm a Donald Trump fan. I love his leadership. I love the priority of the viewpoint and just his message of the boldness. Letting the people know that he's our president, he's here to fight for us, and he's gonna do whatever he can to make it right. Salute to Donald Trump. Salute to Trump. Salute to Trump. I mean, I'm telling you. And, you know, this continues on. I have a lot of these video clips. Um, let's continue. Check this one out. Um, growing up, you know, black in America, you're told that you're supposed to just be a Democrat. So one day I asked myself, why am I a Democrat? And so I did the research of why I'm a Democrat, looked up what the Democrats were about. Then I did research about what the Republicans were about. And I realized that I've never been a Democrat. Anything that I stand for, everything that I was raised, my beliefs, my thoughts, it's all towards the Republican Party. And so then whenever I got there, I was able to get rid of my TDS my Trump derangement syndrome and I was able to open up my eyes and actually listen to him and give him a chance and you know black people we don't like to be stereotyped or penalized or placed in a category so I'm like if I'm doing that to him and I don't want that done to me then who am I so it just kind of put me in a different mind space wow that was so well said and I absolutely love your shirt I think everyone is going to want to like buy one of these shirts so cute well thank you so much for your time and for your support thank you yeah, I actually, I, I, I like that shirt. I, I need to get, I need to give me something like that. Okay, I need to give me something like that. But hey, if you like this shirt, link is in the description. Okay, link is in the description. Anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, it's even more than black people as well, though. Okay, it's a lot of folks, and that's that's why I've been talking about some of these polls that have come out and said, "Oh my goodness, Trump's gonna lose big." <clears throat> and I said this in previous videos, moving forward after Trump wins in November, we got to show up and do our part. Don't get overconfident. But after he wins in November, the Republican Party will look completely different from the voting base to the politicians. And one, you're going to have a lot more black people as like what you have seen previously, along with myself that are going to be openly voting Republican and supporting Republicans. But not only that, you have a lot of people who, you know, have bright colored hair that you wouldn't have expected to vote Republican. That will. If you would have told me a month ago that I would be voting for Donald Trump in this next election, I would have told you to kindly fuck off. You know what? No, I would have told you to fuck right off. Because absolutely not. I would never vote for him. But you know what? I'm a human. And as humans, we are allowed to grow. We are allowed to evolve. We are allowed to change our opinions. We are allowed to educate ourselves on topics that maybe we're not as versed on as we think that we are. And that's exactly what I've been doing. And I realized that I was drastically misinformed before. And I won't let that happen again. So I will be voting for Donald Trump in this next election. If you would. Trump, baby. What can I say? You know, I. what can I say? It's Trump. And, you know, it's majorly important that we do get Trump in office because we're going to be in some dire circumstances if we don't. 
and we're up. We're gonna be up against a he double hockey sticks of a fight. Trust me when I tell you, they will not go down easy. They're gonna pull all the punches, all the punches. You ever cornered a scared scared animal? You ever seen one of those types of videos where you know, uh, like a lion or something, a tiger, you know, like a predator corners an animal? They panic, they scramble, they do anything and everything possible. They lash out. That's what you're gonna see. But if they get back in office, it's gonna be real bad. Priority in this election is to defeat the blue team. The Republic depends on us defeating the blue team. And all of us, Bobby Kennedy included, could do whatever it is that makes that most likely. Suspend my campaign and to support President Trump. And other considerations are secondary. Now that said, I certainly hope that Donald Trump will recognize that his ascendancy to the White House is not the objective. It's what happens after he gets there and having Bobby Kennedy on board will greatly increase the chances of doing what he has told us that he wants to do so i think it's fantastic that uh you know rfk jr got on board with trump i i think that is absolutely amazing it's massive and uh it's needed it's needed we need the margin to be so big as trump said too big to rig that's a fact i said that a long time ago in a video the exact same thing, not the exact same words, but I said the exact same thing. That gap has to be so big that if they did try to cover it, it'd be way too obvious for everyone. Because I know some people are going to say, well, it was obvious the first time, Rich. Clearly it wasn't. Clearly it wasn't. There's a lot of Democrats who don't believe that it actually happened. Okay, so if the gap is big enough, well, then it's going to be a lot more difficult to cover that. Um, one, you're going to have to get a lot more people involved which somebody's going to snitch, somebody's going to slip up and say, yeah, here it is, I got it, here you go, <laughs> you know, type of deal. Um, so that should be the focus. Just because, you know, I make these good videos of, hey, Trump is actually in the lead, he's not actually losing, that doesn't mean we should get comfortable. As we get closer to the election and we possibly start seeing polls that say Trump has this massive lead, don't get comfortable. Do not get comfortable. Pedal to the metal. The whole way. The whole way. Once again, and I'm going to keep giving him a shout out. Get in contact with Scott Pressler. All right? Get in contact with a guy like Scott Pressler, TPUSA. Um, get in contact with one of these organizations. They'll get you um, ready to go, right? Ready to, to actually do something. Like get some folks registered. Go door to door. Make some phone calls. Okay? We need everybody, okay? Everybody. That should, that should be, honestly, that should be everybody's goal, to do something, right? It could be something small, like sharing these videos every time I drop them, liking, leaving a comment for the algorithm, that sort of thing. I understand not everybody is able to, you know, get out and do certain things. But if you can, you should get involved, all right? Get involved. As always, y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.